is finally time, April 8th. If you're watching this video, the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra is now available. And this is my review on it. So I've had this robot now for a little while and I've been testing it thoroughly. And I must say this guy is an amazing robot vacuum in pretty much every single way. I can't even think of a, a negative to give you guys. It does everything you want. It'll go on a vacuum, mop, self-empty, self-clean the mopping pads, map your house, have it go clean specific rooms. Everything that you want a robot vacuum to do, this guy does it. Now, if you watched my previous video on this, you know with any Roborock, they all do an amazing job cleaning carpet and hard floors with a vacuuming suction. Now, the reason you buy this is the mopping ability and the mop cleaning ability built into the stocking station. And so far, it has been really, really good. In just a moment, I'll show you a video of it cleaning up a little bit of a mess. And then I will tell you my overall thoughts of this at the end of this video. Now, one reason why I love this more than the competitors is the mopping pad design. It's got a plus and a con, but I think the plus overweighs the con, in my opinion. So the plus is you can keep the mopping pad on this robot at all times. And I have about 50-50 carpet to hard floor ratio on my main floor. So I can keep this pad on at all times and it will go clean with the pad on and not mess up. I have really thick carpet and the ones with the rotating mopping pads like this Ecovax, like this Dream Tech, and even like the one I previously, the, the Abode P8, those all cannot clean on carpet unless you take off the spinning mopping pads. So you have to do that every time if you want to clean your carpet compared to hard floor. So that's a cool feature that I really like. I guess the quick con is th this cleans perfectly fine. So as far as mopping ability, it does a great job, especially if you mop two or three times a week. But I think personally, I think the spinning mopping pads clean a little bit better. But I think the fact that this can stay on the robot at all times and it cleans really, really close to just as good I would pick this one every day over any other ones with the spinning mopping pads. So as you've seen in previous videos, like I said, fantastic vacuuming carpet hard floor does really good on all of it. So now I'm going to show you a quick clip that I made where I put down in a small area, I put down some ketchup, some mayonnaise, and a little bit of chocolate milk. Now you can watch and see how well it did, but I will say, and I think I say it in that clip too. If it's just for testing purposes, if you're going to spill ketchup or something like that, please wipe it up with a rag first. Don't send out a robot vacuum to clean it up. They're definitely not designed to do that. Once again, it's just for this test. Um, typically, if I spill something, I'm not going to send out a robot to clean it just for that one single mess. I'm going to grab a paper towel and clean it up. So here's that clip. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. I will have more videos about this in the near future. And if there's anything specific you want to see on this or my other robots, let me know down in the comments. Here is a full test with the S7 Max-V Ultra for mopping. Just going to do a quick demo with a little bit of a mess I put down in a very small area. So you're going to see exactly what this guy does when you tell it to go. How it wets the pads, cleans the pads, goes out cleans the job and then comes back and cleans the pads and all that. So it should be pretty interesting and it's going to be a very small area. So I'm going to do a triple clean. So if you know you have a big mess in a specific area, you can have it clean that area three times ensuring that it's going to be really, really clean. So here's the app. I have the scrub intensity all the way up. I have a deep clean. So it's going to clean tighter lines. Therefore doing a better job cleaning. And then I am just doing that small section known as the zone. And if you can see on the bottom left, I have it at three times cleaning. So let me go ahead and hit clean. We'll see everything this guy does. Starting zone cleaner. And 
and I have this to mopping only. Positioning. Stand by. Going to wash the mop. So that sound there is it pumping water down into the reservoir. So after it scrubs and gets the pads soaked, you should hear a sucking sound and it will empty that reservoir water into the dirty water tank. sucking the water out. And while it does all this, there's also a pump that will shoot it into the back of the robot into the water tank on board the robot. And every time it comes back, it refills that tank. Mop washed. Resuming cleaning. Let me quickly show you a little bit of a mess I put down for it to clean up. We have chocolate milk right here. And we have uh, mayonnaise and ketchup. So just a tip, if you know you have a wet spill, you just want this to be on mopping only. You don't want the vacuum motor running, otherwise it's gonna get up into the dirt then. As you can see, even on one pass, it did a really good job with that mayonnaise. So three passes might actually be overkill for this test. So I'll probably just wind up doing only two, because if I got the mayonnaise up already, then there's no real sense in doing three passes. See if it does as good with ketchup. And I'll show you the bottom of the mopping pad after it cleans it as well.
you can see the ketchup a little bit more difficult to get up, but being that you have the option to do it two or three times, I'm gonna go ahead and let this run until the ketchup is completely gone, which I think will be on the next run. I had to back up my tripod because it sensed the tripod with the object avoidance there. All right, this is taking a little bit longer than I expected because they did the deep clean. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and finish and then I will go back over the area where the ketchup was, mayonnaise, and then of course the chocolate milk and we'll see if we can find any of it at the end of this cleaner room. All right guys, the Roborock is done. I let it do two passes instead of three because it got up all the ketchup on the second pass. So there's kind of no reason to keep going. I'm trying to see if you can get any closer to it. I don't see any ketchup left. So it definitely does a good job cleaning. It did take two passes, but that's the whole reason why they have one, two or three passes that you can set. And honestly, that was just for the test. If you know you have spilt ketchup or mayonnaise or whatever, Wipe it up real quick with a towel. Don't, don't send out a robot vacuum to clean it. They're not really designed for that. That was just for testing purposes, but it did pick it up. So pretty happy about that. Let me go ahead and show you guys the mopping pad after it cleaned that stuff up. Let's see how clean it actually got it. Pop this off. So there it is at the bottom. So that's pretty impressive. This thing does a really good job cleaning this pad because obviously ketchup is bright red. So you would think that there'd be some red on this, but it is completely clean. So I'm very happy with the performance of this cleaning station. It does really good. It self empties the debris really good. See how the dirty water looks. So yeah, pretty, pretty nasty in there. And this guy really does not use much water for its cleaning run, which I like. So you don't have to fill these tanks very often, it seems. All right, guys, so here is my final thoughts as of right now on this Roborock. Major competitor right there. To be honest, I haven't done a lot with that yet. But based off what I've seen so far and how much I love the Roborock, as of right now, this is definitely my favorite robot vacuum mop combo out there. It does everything really well. It hasn't given me any trouble at all. It does a really good job on carpet cleaning. You can leave the mopping pad on to go clean your carpets. So what I do, since I have half carpet, half hard floor, I will go send it to clean all my carpets first. And then as soon as it comes back and it's done, then I will tell it to mop the hard floors. So while it's clean on the carpet, that mopping pad stays completely dry and then it only wets itself right before it knows it's going to clean the hard floors and then that way you don't have to worry about getting wet carpet at all by the pad so i think that's the way to go for this but yeah roborock it's been one of my favorite vacuums ever since i started recording these videos the roborock s5 was my first roborock ever and if you've been with me with this channel, you know I love that thing. It has been through so many tests with me. It's still running to this day, and I could not be any happier. I love the looks of this. Um, the price point is quite a bit cheaper than that. It basically does the same thing. And I, I highly, highly, highly recommend this to all of you. So if you're looking for an all-in-one combo that literally does everything as of right now, I'd say it's going to be this one, the Roborock. If you guys are interested, on April 8th, as you're seeing this video, this should be available now on Amazon. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to put a link below. I do make a little bit of commission off each sale, and I use that money to put back into this channel to buy expensive robots like these. I had to buy the Ecovax out of pocket. So I use any money I do make on this channel to buy these robot vacuums for you guys so I can hopefully give you guys a good idea of what you guys want in your houses. So once again, Robo Rock the winner as of right now. I don't really have any complaints about it. It's been working really good. 
The software is awesome. Um, I'm going to be doing more and more videos on this. I'm going to be doing head-to-head -head challenge with all these. And we'll pick an ultimate winner in a couple of weeks after I thoroughly test the Ecovax. But I, I still think this one's going to be the overall winner just because... I don't know. I've, I've, I've always liked Roborock. I've had the D-Bots. I have the T8 Plus. And I never really cared for that. It, it did okay and all that. But I don't know. Something about it just didn't work for me as well as Roborocks have. So, All right. Enough blabbing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see any specific test on this. And I'll try to make that happen for you. And you all have an awesome day. I'll see you guys soon in the next video.